What is up? What is up? Welcome to episode 117 of the DCC podcast, season two, episode 17. Yep. For references for our new peeps. Before we get started, definitely want to bring your eyes to the products we got right here. Shop Go New. Yeah, if you're on YouTube, guys, um, we have 100% organic products. You can follow us on our Instagram at glow.nude. Everything you need to know is also in the description. Yeah, it's good. Um, I actually want to start off with yeah. the questions that we have from last week. Because <laughs> uh, I forgot about them last week. I'm and, laughing um, at the docket. <laughs> <laughs> What's here? Yeah, we're going to get to it. But um, let's get to these questions first. Let me pop it up. Yes. These are the NGL, IG, connected, whatever vibes with the questions and stuff. All right. Um, boom. How did you guys start the podcast? How do we start the podcast? <laughs> um, I kind of just be like, yo, let's start a podcast. Yeah. I think that was, that's kind of what it was. We were in the middle of the pandemic, and I was like, yo, let's just, let's just do a podcast. I think that would be yeah. pretty cool. And we kind of just did it. Boom, bow. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you fix that. Um, yeah. That's how easy that is. Um, yeah, we just kind of smoke and chill and talk all the time. Yeah, if it was here the from the beginning. Well, we had the crib, so we figured we'd just get it recorded and see yeah. how people feel about it. And the love's been unanimous, you know what I mean? So, I appreciate that. Yeah. Shout-outs to y'all. Cue the applause right now. Yeah. All right, this next. What are you wearing? We're wearing black. Yeah. Shout-outs to the all-black. Yeah, we got the black going mm -hmm. on right now. <laughs> As you can see for the YouTube yeah. people, you know what I mean? Oh, they asked that. So fucking weird. Yeah, it is what it is. All right. Who's the last person you texted? Um, my cousin is Shanda. <laughs> is Shanda? <laughs> uh, my child. Um, I showed him a picture of a dog that I might possibly want, and his reply was, "Mom, I don't like big dogs." It was a great name. <laughs> <laughs> he said no to big doggos. Um, yeah, let's keep it going. All right, just put up the NGL logo while we do this, or you can put the questions up, Gen Z editor. It's up to you. <laughs> Everything okay? <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah uh, All right, it's a little hot. <laughs> it's just hot. In it's here. summer, and so you know, hot. the student really got AC, or it would be too loud for the pod if we did. So we had like a fan hot. of some sort. Yeah, it is what it is. Huh? Proper hot wherever you are in the country. I'm sure mm -hmm. the ice caps are melting. It's summer, <laughs> summer. <laughs> Party in the summer, summer. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, would you rather have big leg disease or widow arm disorder? A widow arm? <laughs> With a I'm W. I'm still stuck. Um, big leg disease? Is that, um, that's the question? Big leg disease or? Or widow arm disorder. <laughs> I feel like I would rather have little arms. I don't want big legs, like. Not like that, though. Not in a disease format. <laughs> it's disease format. <laughs> Not in a so I'd rather go with the little arms. I guess I'm assuming <laughs> that's what they're trying to say. Put some muscles on them bones. Yeah, because then I could just get like a prosthetic arm, you know. Um, I'm I would, assuming. I would have... Big leg disease sounds lit still. But not in a big <laughs> The hell? <laughs> <laughs> nah, hold the big legs. Yeah, it's less of two eels. I, the runs and the jumps? Come <laughs> on, it's crazy. Alright, what's else? What's your top three songs right now? That's a cool one. Wow, I know my number one is Last Last um, by Burner Boy. If you haven't been on Earth for the last couple weeks, um, what else do I be listening to? I be listening to extravagant um, bullshit by Tory Lanez and um and this is just the intro I have those songs on like rotation for some odd reason but yeah is that three yeah that's three okay um put them up because I I don't know I, I, was, said, I was looking at you and, I I, said, I, <laughs> and for some reason I felt like it was two songs no I said last last yeah um mm -hmm. extravagant bullshit yeah and um and this is just the intro. The two songs are the two. The last two are from Tory Lanez, and oh, the first song is from Burna Boy. That's what it was. I thought it was. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, 
shit. I'm bumping my own stuff right now. I'm not even gonna hold you. I've been I'm making a drill. Drill. Album drill, album? Drill album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's coming like, out. I've kind of been playing my top three songs from the album, so right. I don't know. Other than that, um, uh, yeah, I like Sticky from the new Drake's you know, new album. Sticky, it, I guess that's I like my sticky. bonus. That's not three, but that's um, my bonus. One. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like nothing's on my mind because I've been like kind of in album mode on my own stuff. So you guys will see when it's out. Let's keep it going. What else? Um, what's your favorite memory from childhood? Hmm. Favorite memory from childhood. What is my favorite memory? I guess because we used to play like card games a lot, so I guess that's my favorite memory. All of us as cousins in Jamaica used to just play hella card games till night. Yeah, I remember that. Um, favorite memory. We used to play Mortal Kombat and um, James Bond and Doom Nukem all the time. Mm -hmm. So Doom yeah, that for, I, my favorite memory is just really just going crazy with my cousins just playing video games, like fighting yeah. games like all the time, just going crazy like I'm, to this day like like i cannot Still. be touched in those <laughs> like fighting type of games yo you that should bring Duke Nukem back that shit was my all favorite all those type of stuff man Gold, golden eye uh james bond 007 you know yes double tomb raider you know i mean that's a throwback still yo. yeah um, what else keep it going 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 what was your favorite show when you were a kid pop of girls easy Pop of Girls, Johnny Bravo, Eddie. Favorite, your favorite show when you were a kid. What did I like? Yeah, Ice Power one. Rangers, yo. Ooh, definitely. Well, I definitely wanted. I wrote that out to probably games. like 21, 22, like no cap. Still, I do love so, Power Rangers, but Pop of Girls definitely. Got it. Cartoons, oh, man. Cartoons is kind of hard. So I like Dragon Ball Z. I definitely like Dragon Ball Z. It was it was tough back then. Um, have you ever had any surgery? No, man. Wait, no. Am I? Was that was that eye was that was that eye surgery? I, don't, I mean, it wasn't really surgery. No. Serious surgery? I don't think it was kind of. It wasn't really a surgery thing. I think. It, uh, yeah, it would, sir, all right, let's let's define surgery because I, I feel like that's a tough one. I don't know if what I surgery got done with like surgery. I've had stitches in my shoulder. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's not a surgery. Is a medical. Uh, or dental specialty that uses operating manual instrument to any type of person to visit. I had nothing really. Surgery. No, I, I wouldn't say I've had surgery. No. I haven't had a surgery. I feel like that implies like some type of deep, deep movements with the scissors or whatever. Yeah, you know? uh, I guess if get me getting stitches count. No, I wouldn't say that counts. Well, I haven't had surgery. How many kids do you want to have? Oh, no. All right, oh, yeah, back. I guess I'm we're like... kind of back. No, we had to, we had to answer that. All right, so that's all the questions. You know, For maybe. now. That's all the questions we got. Thank you guys so Until much for that. Until next time. Um, Keep it up, guys. We love the questions. And um, <laughs> all right, going into this because this is a serious issue, we need to address this Who? as as a, as a community, as the world, as Earthers. The lantern fly situation. <sighs> so Bro, it's, it's not a vibe. Them it's, niggas is everywhere. Not. One, two. I feel like they're addicted to weed. Three. I feel like. The fact that they can jump and I feel like somewhat fly is bothering me. I hate how they look, all right? You're not a ladybug. And all you're right? not, you're a, not a ladybug. Why can't you fly? <laughs> this is crazy. What is up with the speed? They move so fast. I tried to kill one and it kept jumping. Like, is they it only so in New Jersey? Fast, man. Is it only crazy. in New Jersey? Let us know, guys, in the like, comments. I hate these. These are everywhere. And they say they're terrible. They they kill plants. They're, they're bad. For yes, the like the plants in the backyard, they've literally been eating them. Yeah, like, they, they destroy plants. I don't think they're good for the environment. And I think they came from a different dimension. Yeah, I feel like but, they was let loose, man. These are that. Well, what they're doing right now is laying a, a whole bunch of eggs. So they recommend that you kill them if you see them. But they're kind of hard to kill still. I hate like, these things, man. Yeah, but they say to um, kill them if you see them. But they're laying a whole bunch of eggs to hatch by next um, spring. Next spring. So they're cooking up a plan against us. Yeah, I imagine I just, a lot of those. Yeah, they're about to have a whole bunch. All the plants and resources. It is not yeah. looking lit, man. Imagine we go out by lantern flying like. We already got so like so these rodents in New York. That's as big <laughs> as fucking cats. <laughs> it's just too much for the environment. Like. 
Yeah, we don't want that. And um, to aid in the helping of the environment, let's really focus on not littering, all right? I cannot yes. fathom how somebody can so have a drink a and literally just drop it. And like these times, it's crazy. I personally wait until I see a nearby trash can or I will bring it home to throw it away. I can't fathom somebody throwing away shit just randomly on the ground. That's so crazy to me. I don't know. I don't know, man. How are you doing that? You don't feel wrong in yourself to be throwing shit on the ground randomly? Why, why are we littering? Why are we littering? Like, still? this is our home. We Earth know, is our we, home. We know. We <laughs> have nowhere else to go. All right? Don't believe Jeff, Jeff Bezos. All They're right? not going to Mars. We, we ain't got nowhere else to go. This is where it's at. All right? Yeah. This, is where, this is where the vibes are at. All right? This is where it is. Like, <laughs> this is where we're at. All right? Until Take care Noah of the pulls up. Take so care, take care of the take planet. care of this place. Take care of the planet, please. <laughs> Jeez, bro. But um, let's let's get one more in there. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Is eighteen an adult? In what in what sense? What do you mean? In what sense? Like meaning? Are you are you like what is an adult like? That's Can they what, handle responsibility? That's what I'm saying. It's like I feel like when you are eighteen, it's a lot of pressures that's being put on you. That's you know true. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like. You're already out of high school. You're expected to manage a large lump sum of money to go to college. You're expected to navigate your way through college. You're expected to not make mistakes. You're expected to get a job while going to college and maintain your lifestyle. And you're expected to already have established yourself in something. Not to mention the ones that don't go to college. So it's like, are we really putting a lot into 18? Like, Because then, all right, not saying that. Definitely pushes the maturity age back then, so you're definitely not mature at then 21 then. Yeah, I read a post. That's what I'm saying. I read or a post. 22, 23, not even 25. Right. So, you know what I mean? That pushes everything back if the 18-year-old now is not even considerably an adult, which, I mean, I kind of would have to agree, because, like, what do you really know? You were in high school for so long. And then prior to that, you were in middle school. So a lot of, yeah, you were a lot of your years coddling. were in schooling. Yeah, being and coddled memory. You had to memory stuff that, you had to remember stuff that technically didn't really matter. So right. um, I would have to say, uh, is 18 an adult in numbers? Yeah, that's what they say, a number numerical adult. Because look at 18 year old niggas going to real jail, real yeah, prison. And maturity like, and like, it's like accountability and all that stuff that really makes an adult an adult. I don't think so. You can't really consider an 18 year old. 18 year old is not an adult. adult. In my opinion, I don't think 18 is an adult. No. I feel like you can have a mature mindset, but as far yeah. as like the, the, the title adult, no, you still don't even know all you need to know. You're a mini man. <laughs> Definitely. Or a mini, mini woman. Or a mini woman. Or a mini person. Yes. There you go. Or a mini being. Yeah. We're out here trying to. A trying lot of to people, form yeah. with, with the child vibes. Trying to, we're trying to, you know, we're trying mm -hmm. to be with the times. But um, on that note, we're gonna definitely take a break right here. This is a beat by me, Jay Grease. All right, and we're back. Welcome so back. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't go, we tell didn't go anywhere. But <laughs> it was, it's cool to say that we're back. We are back though. We yes. enjoyed the beat, and you know. You know, a little mini break. You know, you know the vibes. We gave y'all a break from us a little bit. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's get right in. Do you care how your friends treat the opposite sex they're not close with? What do you mean, like, just a random female that I'm just walking by? On the yeah, because right? I feel like a lot of... I give everybody respect and then just, you know, pop Yeah, that's vibes. what I'm saying. I just don't see that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of women or men, when they're in a relationship... Yeah, you don't need to be flirting with people, but you also don't need to treat the opposite, like, you also don't need like to treat the shit, yeah? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? You don't need to be a dickhead, like, you're not gonna get cool points, bro. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, be nice to people, definitely. definitely. That's all be I'm nice saying, like, that's um, all I'm alluding to. You don't be too nice, you know. You know I'm just saying you don't need to be flirting with the person. You know the line that you're that you're about to cross you know when you're crossing. Flirting it. Is. Yeah, don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. But you also don't need to be a dickhead. So <laughs> find mean. the line in the middle and just tread on that line. I feel like a lot of people like they make it cool to be like a proper dickhead to people yeah. and just be like a bad mean dude to people. I feel like 
And it's whoever cool you're to, in a relationship with should not support that. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like It's cool to be nice to people, I swear. It's like the best. It really is cool to be nice. People I think like, I bought a shirt that said that. <laughs> people, people who are nice, like, you know what I mean? But you can't you can't beat that. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's free. He's like, a nice guy. <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, shout out to that. Be nice. It pays off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all we're saying. Let's get right into the other one. Um, the other side. Are you more digestible when you're, you're in a relationship? Yeah. Digestible as in what? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely don't mean like... Are eating? Not uh, eating people. I mean, do you feel like... Mm-hmm. When you're in a relationship, people are more inclined to, like, invite you places, like, more offer you things and shit like that. I feel like... I feel quite the opposite, actually. Really? Yeah. You feel like niggas don't want to be around? <laughs> people hate positivity or hate, you think seeing so? a, hate seeing a good thing. Uh, if anything, single people definitely want to be around more single people. So, like, very short, less than none, would you invite the couple? You might invite just one person from that group. Oh, that's true. A couple. Yeah, that only, it happens. <laughs> no, but exactly I feel I see the other side as well when a lot more people want to be around the relationship people because the single people begin niggas into trouble. So why would you want to be around them? What do you mean? More uh, couples inviting single people places? Is that what you're saying? No. That's what I'm saying. Are you more digestible in a relationship? Meaning, if you have a group of friends, right? And then majority of the people in the in the group are couples. Are couples. So, do you feel like to the outer public or just in your friend group, people like to see that more? Mm, yeah, I think so. Yeah, like the aesthetic of it all. I don't care about the personal yeah, relationship. I think so. I think that's cool. Yeah, because I feel like more couple pages, more couple shit get blown up on TikTok. Versus, like, if you uh, were... Oh, you talking about content creator now. I mean, content... It's more like than seeing, just... I'm just like saying in general. light skin couples. And, I mean, yeah, they, or, like, the biracial. Yeah, the biracial. That's what I mean, yeah. Biracial. <laughs> they make light skin babies. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I see a lot of those on YouTube, on TikTok. So, I've always wondered, like, yo, is this, like, a thing? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I mean... I thought you meant, like, for real, like, just going out at a brunch or whatever. No. You see... <laughs> you see it's like, oh, this is a group of couples versus a group of single people. I feel like single people are always rowdy and stuff and, like, twerking in the middle of the fucking yeah. establishment. But, like, the couple was just, like, chilling, vibing. Right. So you know I mean? Having drinks, eating, conversating. So, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's uh, do what we're here to do most of the time. As I cue up the music take. Music tape, music tape, music tape. Let's get into it. Um, I had a chance to definitely listen to Burner Boy. Not so much Brent Fires. I've heard like one offs from the album. Yeah, I haven't. But really now let's talk about Burner album. Boy first. Yeah. Um, the name of the album. You got the name? Did you drew the name up? Because I definitely forgot to put it down. But I, I was listening to it and I fussed with it. The album is definitely like a 10 out of 10, to be honest with you. But this man doesn't miss. Love Damini. Love, comma, Damini. Oh, he's fine. So I don't know what that means, but shout out to Burner Boy, I fucks with this al- album heavy. Popcorn, Blast, Ed Sheeran, J Balvin, Kehlani. Yeah, this is this is one. My only critique Burner though. Never misses, bro. My only critique though. My only critique though. Is. Is. Um, there's a lot of Burner Boy type songs. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like, it's a lot of songs It's like, yo, this is a Burner Boy song. You know what I mean? Like, you can spot it out. Yeah. Like, he's Burner boy Yeah. <laughs> um, he's burning them boys. <laughs> but that's what I like. Honestly, I rather... I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I should give the album a 10 out of 10, 10, but it's like, you know what I mean? I give it... Well, my rating is still pending, but... I Because I haven't heard, like, a little bit of the songs, but from what I've heard, I fucks with it. So, my review now is a 10 out of 10 as well. It's, a, it's a great it. album. I just feel like... And this is not. This is a good critique. It depends on how you look at look at it. It's like um, a lot of the songs on the album. It was like not in that realm, and I loved it. It was like songs that was still him, but it was different. You know different, what I mean? yeah. Especially like the one with Popcorn. You know what I mean? Get the Liberty Light, Tony and Sing. Like you yeah. know what I mean? That sounds. I like, like that combo. That sounds like Burna Boy in the Popcorn lane. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I would like to to have heard majority. 
not branch off, but like a Mix little that? bit, a little bit, a little bit of mixing. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I want to hear him do but, a song with but, coffee. Yeah, but the album was amazing. I mean, it's not a terrible critique. You know, it's not it's too crazy. Yeah, it's a good album. Yeah, it's good. Let yeah, I me mean, shout out to that. Uh, Honestly, I haven't really heard the Brent Fives. I haven't heard the Brent Fives, but uh, we have it up there because I'm going to listen to it. And I've been hearing nothing but great things. My boy Ty um, told me about it. He's like, yo, you have to hear this album. So, um... Giving it to y'all to digest it and let us know about it. I'm gonna digest it too. Yeah, I guess we talk um, about it in the next episode. Yeah, right? my my last, I said my review was pending for Foot by Squash. I heard it. It's definitely a TikTok song. I watched the video. It's six minutes long, only because the ending three minutes of the video is TikToks of the song. Yeah. So it, I think it was purposely made for TikTok. And one of the lyrics is, "Yo, this is the song I got mud on TikTok." He said it in the song. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. So, but that's besides the point. The song's lit. It's a dance tune, and you know, I mean, a lot of people you know, are doing ones, it for the talk. You know, I mean, those one TikTok is a major app. I saw a TikTok ad. Yes, I did as well. TikTok, a real ta- ad. TikTok taught me. Hashtag TikTok taught me. Jeez, bro. What are but, we doing? You know, yeah. we're, we're there with it. It's a global app now, but um, I think that's it, right? We don't have anything else for them. Nah, that's all we have. But the name of the Brent Fayez album, shit. Death was about to not say that. My bad, Jimmy. I mean, we're still pending it. Yeah, but we, I, I gotta at least. Things that I think that matters. Called. Wasteland. Wasteland. Brent Fayez. Well, I feel like he named the album Wasteland before. Or am I bugging? Probably bugging. I'm not even a big fan of this man, to be honest with you. I just heard about him recently. I didn't even realize he was on crew, he's even good. though it says he's good, though. featuring Brent Fires. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. So I'm he's a good going. artist, though, but you know, don't kill anybody. You know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's my podcast. Opinion, yeah. I say what I'm, what I'm on, what I, what I can, <laughs> or what I want to. But um, that's it right, guys. for today. Um, thank you for listening. If you've been here this far, subscribe on Anchor. Subscribe on YouTube. Like, on share. On socials, like, share, all that stuff. Tell um, a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, comment. Do, do what mm-hmm. makes you happy when it comes to our podcast. But definitely listen to it. But definitely that first. share. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, that's it. We're at war with ourselves. We're at war with everyone outside. Be safe out there, guys.